good evening, everybody. We had another jam-packed Thursday to get us started. My mini blitz partner, Brandon Schaff, was out on the road tonight, so just me, Chris Thomason. But let's get to the highlights. It was the Battle of the Bridge. Carroll looking for its first win over Gregory Portland since 2016. GP coming up a big win over Cal Allen, so you think this would be no problem, right? Well, it, it was scoreless in the second. Carroll hanging in there, but Colton Harrison, his little brother Ryder, in the hospital with a collapsed lung. So plan for him tonight, a big play, almost scored, got out after the pick at the half yard line, but GP would capitalize. The quarterback Reed Dooms going to punch it in from a half yard out. Two point conversion good, so GP going up eight nothing. But Carroll again hanging around here still in the second. Matt Rodriguez going to hit Gabriel Garcia over the middle for a big first down. Tigers in business inside the red zone. Then very next play, Rodriguez this time. Now Brent Davis not liking that. Next play. Rodriguez is going to find J.J. Haywood in the corner of the end zone. Carroll pulling with an 8-6 at the half, but GP with a huge third quarter. The Wildcats would outscore the rival Tigers 28-0 in the third to win that battle of the bridge, 36-6. It's their seventh straight win over Carroll. Let's get over to San Diego, Vaquero country as Kingsville King coming calling to the blue turf over there. We'll hear the snap over the Vaquero's quarterback's head. That ball is going to ping pong around. It's going to be recovered by the Bramas. Jacob Cantu, that's a score. Kingsville going up 7-0 early, but it's now 7-3. This ball is going to be tipped and picked by San Diego's Dylan Gonzalez of the Cutos in business, and they would capitalize. Jaden Lozano going to connect with Tyler Sines. Extra point no good, but the night would be good for San Diego and Coach Bo Ochoa of the Cutos get it done. 28-7, they improve to 2-0 on the year. How about Mathis taking on Taft? Mathis with a big second half rally last year to beat Greyhounds team that went three rounds deep. Well, here early on, Pirates Edward Montemayor going to go over the top to Eric Cuellar. He's going to fight his way in. Get off me for the score. Extra point, no good. Pirates going up 6 0. Now, Taft's JJ Acosta here. One of the best dual threat quarterbacks in South Texas. He is in trouble and he is going to loft it up and be picked by Jaden Coronado. The Pirates would grab a 6 0 lead at the half. Now remember that score 6 0 at the break, okay? Well, starting the third now, Greyhounds trying to get something going. They were stopped four times at the one yard line in the first half, so they said, you know what, let's go through the air. Costa going to hit his man. Aiden Gidry for the long go ahead score, but a big second half for Mathis popped that final 36 14. Remember, it was 6 0 at the half, but Mathis with their second straight win over the Taft Greyhounds. And hey, one other score from tonight the Moody Trojans get their first win of the year 20 to nothing over Bishop. Badgers struggled to start the year, they just have seven total points in two games. 